2010 Ford Escape. Uh, keep getting check engine light and those check engine codes. Get them down here. Fuel 456, which is the fuel uh, fill, which is the actual fill on this particular vehicle. There's no cap. It's a gasket and a, uh, a sealed uh, pathway. I don't know what you want to call that. I don't claim to be a mechanic, just have common sense. But uh, So I got my OBD2 uh, scanner out and I found these codes. 2196 talks about ERG 1450 also. All, these bottom two relate to, actually all three relate to fuel tank pressurization. Um, minor leak in the intake manifold. And so I kind of got into it further. There were some YouTube videos that helped identify the electronic solenoid that gets bolted in place. I'm going to back up here so we can come in. Gets bolted in place on this particular vehicle right here and here. I've removed it just to see how that functions. I noticed that it has hose that runs from the tank to that area and I assume it's for burning uh, uh, fumes. So I took that part out, here it is here. I'll give you the part number in a second. And I put some air to it and it leaks. I understand the direction of flow I'm going would be from the gas tank into the intake right in front of a uh, map sensor right on the intake uh, after the air filter should not allow gas to pass through there. I wired it up to a little nine volt here just to hear it work. Definitely works. Um, and if I put gas to it, like I just did a moment ago, like this, and I click it, if I had three hands, I'd do it for you right now. But if I do do that, then it certainly opens up larger. The fact is that is a leak. A vacuum leak. So I believe if you are experiencing those codes, that this is the culprit on the 2010 Escape. Maybe other Ford vehicles, I couldn't tell you. Um, part number here. Ford Motor Company. 9G866. I'm not sure. It could be the C108. Zero, is that a zero? Or Q? Anyhow, I do believe this to be a faulty solenoid. And by re replacing it and erasing those codes, I think your problem goes away. For all those do-it-yourselfers, 2010 Ford Escape fix.